Big developments in a story you saw first here on two. A suburban hotel hit with violations after hosting a wedding with more than 100 people. That's right. Our Charlie DeMar uncovered and broke the story last night. He's live in Prospect Heights. Charlie, Cook County Health Department saw your report taking action now. What are they taking? Brad and Marie, they saw our story and they say that this wedding last night put lives in serious danger. Everyone from the guests to the servers, everyone working that wedding, they are asking that they quarantine during this time and there is punishment coming down against this hotel. Exclusive video we first showed you from the wedding at the Hilton Chicago Northbrook shows a room full of people, mostly maskless, eating, laughing, having a good time. The party drawing a much different reaction from the Cook County Department of Health. A profound uh, dismay. Um, this event should not have happened. It's put a lot of individuals in danger. Dr. Rachel Rubin with the health department speaking after watching the CBS2 story showing the wedding blatantly breaking COVID-19 mitigation efforts. They violated the order for indoor dining. They also violated the state uh, ordinance or state order that went out related to uh, limiting um, large events. Wedding guests are being told to quarantine in the county already preparing for positive COVID cases. We are uh, requesting a guest list um, and assuming we receive that, um, we will try to reach out to as many of those individuals that we can. I do see it as a potential super spreader event. The Hilton in Northbrook is independently run. Hotel leadership was named in a 2017 foreclosure case. As for the wedding, Hilton corporate calling it shocking. We at least need to focus on the people that were there at the wedding, but also this is important for the hotel to know so that they can clean those rooms uh, uh, thoroughly. Now, in our initial report, we went inside the hotel to try and get an answer as to why this wedding was allowed to take place. We didn't get any answers, but within the last hour or so, the hotel did break its silence, releasing a statement saying in part that the pandemic has hit the hospitality industry particularly hard, but that their effort to keep the hotel afloat should not have put people in danger. We are live tonight from the Chicago Northbrook Hilton. Charlie DeMar. CBS 2 News. All right, good work on that, Charlie. An admission there to see Charlie's exclusive story that touched off today's response. Go to our new CBS Chicago app. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps.